Item number SCP-2030 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Foundation Operated Web Analysis Bot Delta-09 Left Stop is to be kept in constant operation and checked for defects twice a week by a Level 2 staff member familiar with its operation. When functional, the bot will search a wide range of file sharing and video streaming websites for SCP-2030 and remove any manifestations discovered. Finding and isolating SCP-2030's point of origin is considered a Delta-level priority. Efforts to locate the studio where SCP-2030 is filmed are ongoing. Description SCP-2030 is an anomalous phenomenon that manifests as a television series. The medium for which SCP-2030 manifests changes depending on the most popular format currently in use. As of 2014, SCP-2030 most commonly inserts itself into automated DVD rental kiosks, file sharing websites, and paid on-demand video streaming services. Prior to 2012, SCP-2030 commonly manifested as a DVD set in video rental stores and as VHS tapes prior to 2003. Thus far, no reliable evidence that SCP-2030 manifestations took place prior to the year 1993 has been discovered. However, 38 seasons of programming are known to exist, implying that SCP-2030 has been active to some degree since 1976. The series title typically appears as Laugh is Fun, although variations on this name, such as Laugh is Life or Laugh is Love, are not uncommon. The series has no corresponding box art. It mimics art from other television series, often causing viewers to select it mistaking it for another program. The show is a hidden camera comedy series, showcasing the candid responses of various people to bizarre, disturbing, and often anomalous situations. Episodes usually run between 10 and 12 minutes and feature introductory and closing segments that bookend the hidden camera footage. No episode to date has had an end credit roll. SCP-2301 is a presumably human adult male that serves as the show's host, providing introductory and closing commentary as well as appearing to victims to reveal that they are being filmed for a television series. SCP-2301 is invariably shown wearing a royal blue three-piece suit with black and white wingtip shoes. Due to the way in which scenes are filmed, SCP-2301 is only seen from the neck down, making identification difficult. It refers to itself as Laffy McLafferson. Individuals appearing on the show often react to the events that they witness with panic or distress, but appear immediately calmed upon the appearance of SCP-2301. This is true even when the individual in question has sustained significant bodily harm or witnessed a particularly traumatic event. Additionally, most recorded individuals seem to express some degree of familiarity with SCP-2301, with some claiming to be fans of the show. Research into whether SCP-2030 uses its viewership as its victim selection pool is ongoing. Episodes follow a particular theme that each prank segment alludes to. SCP-2301 introduces these themes at the beginning of each episode in an as-of-yet-unidentified film studio, while standing atop a bright yellow stage, decorated with oversized geometric shapes of various colors. Episode themes vary from the mundane, such as the beach, pets and candy, to the strange and violent, such as mail fraud, arson, and terrorism. SCP-2031 delivers a similar speech at the end of each program to close out the show. At the end of each episode, the camera pulls back and around from scp 2031 stage to show the studio audience, which usually comprises the individuals featured on the episode. During this time, the words filmed in front of a studio audience, created in partnership with YWTGTHFT are superimposed over the footage and white text. Research into the identities of the people featured in the show's prank segments has revealed that they are all persons who are officially documented as having died or gone missing in the year they appeared on the program. Thorough investigations into the deaths 
of SCP-2030 participants have revealed a number of inconsistencies and contradictions in matters concerning the circumstances of the deaths. Additionally, exhumations of the individual's remains have revealed that all recorded participants' bodies are currently missing. The general consensus among researchers assigned to SCP-2030 is that victims are likely abducted after they years in the show, without disappearances covered up impossible. However, no concrete evidence connecting the individual's deaths with SCP-2030 besides the show's footage has yet been found. Season 24, 2000 Episode Theme Swelling Individuals Involved Macy Gershom and Kyle Parker Killed by a hit-and-run driver on 9-18-2000 Scene Description An elderly woman sits on a park bench, feeding nearby pigeons with seed from a bag. Gershom and Parker, a couple, walk down a park path and approach the woman. Once the two come within approximately 1.5 meters of the elderly woman, a swarm of pigeons fly into the elderly woman's mouth, causing her stomach to become severely engorged and quickly rupture. The couple express great distress at the event, until SCP-2031 emerges from the elderly woman's open stomach cavity, at which point Gershom and Parker appear relieved. Season 21, 1997 Episode Theme Margaret Thatcher Individuals involved Doris Carter Died of ovarian cancer 2-24-1997 Scene Description Miss Carter walks into her kitchen and opens a cabinet door, out of which falls a large mass of flesh. As Carter screams, the mass grows and shapes itself into a severely disproportional facsimile of former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Margaret Thatcher. Carter rushes to leave the room, but the Thatcher creature leaps onto her before she can escape. It extends its tongue into the woman's open mouth, and Thatcher faces begin appearing across Carter's skin. The faces proceed to recite Thatcher's April 1986 speech on the bombing of Libya in perfect unison. SCP-2031 climbs out of a nearby cupboard and points to the hidden cameras. Miss Carter smiles, the creature's tongue still extended down her throat. Season 13, 1989 Episode Theme Squirrels Individuals involved. Melissa and Travis England disappeared. Last scene, 5-12-89. Scene description. Miss England lies in bed next to a male figure, presumably Mr. England. A series of high-pitched squeaky noises are heard, and Miss England is awake. She tells her husband to wake up, but he does not respond. She places her hand on his shoulder, but quickly draws it back with a shriek. His skin begins to undulate, as though something is moving underneath it. A multitude of squirrels then burst from various places on his body, quickly filling the bed and crawling onto the woman. She rises to leave the room, but SCP-2031 walks in and turns on the light. He is accompanied by Mr. England, who has been skinned from head to foot, but given no indication of feeling in discomfort. All three share a laugh, and the segment ends. Season 13, 1989 Episode Theme Trachotomies Individuals involved Gary Terman Lindsay Terman and their children died in a vehicular accident on 4-28-1989. Scene description. The four sit around a dinner table, eating a meal. Mr. Terman begins coughing and gasping for air, as if choking. As the others at the table begin to panic, 
A pair of slits appear on Termin's throat, allowing him to breathe. These slits quickly become nostrils, which rapidly grow into a full nose, which in turn becomes an entire second head, identical to Termin's original. This second head then sprouts a neck of its own, and the entire process repeats. This continues until 18 necks and heads have sprouted from the original, at which point SCP-2031 steps out from underneath the table. Everyone present erupts into laughter, including all 19 of Mr. Turnin's heads. Season 37, 2013 Episode Theme, Cephalopods Individuals involved, Rebecca Nash, Surgeons unidentified died of complications in child delivery on 11-2-2013. Hospital records show no evidence of anomalous activity during birth. Scene Description A team performs a cesarean section procedure on Miss Nash, who is in labor. The team comments on the size of the child's cranium and the amount of hair present on it. Several minutes into the procedure, a doctor makes an exclamation of surprise and drops an instrument on the floor. Muffled vocalizations can be heard in the background. The rest of the staff begin to panic as the head emerges, unassisted from Nash, causing her a great deal of pain. The children's head can be seen to resemble that of American television presenter Ryan Seacrest. The child sings, row, row, row your boat, in a female voice as it continues to exit the mother. As more of its form emerges, the child can be seen to have the body of a fully grown octopus. Once the child fully exits Nash's body, it continues to sing as another head begins to emerge. Three more children are preceded in total with the heads of celebrities. Jack Nicholson, Johnny Cash, and Martin Freeman, respectively, all with similar octopus bodies. Together, the four sing, row, row, row your boats, in four-part harmony. SCP-2031 walks into the room, and the show's jingle plays. SCP-2031 points to the hidden cameras in the room, prompting the team and Nash to begin laughing. The creature on Nash's torso continues to sing. Nash then loses consciousness, presumably from blood loss. Season 32, 2008 Episode Theme Printers Transcription <laughs> What a ride, eh folks? We've seen printers that eat, eaters that print, <laughs> and everything in between. Makes you appreciate the old clunker you have back in the office, doesn't it? No, printers may not always work when you want them or need them to, but they sure make for some excellent comedy. And that's what we're about here. Comedy. We're here to make you laugh. We hope you laughed. Thank you for laughing with us. That's what we're about here, doesn't it, folks? Come laugh with us again next time. And remember, laugh is fun. Good night. And laugh and laugh and laugh. Just laugh. We love to make laugh. Make more for laughter, so as it is too for laugh. Laugh with us. 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 Laugh and let us in. Note. Video cuts off abruptly, and a black screen is displayed for 30 seconds. Laughter and soft, wet noises can be heard in the background before the program ends. <laughs>